What is going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Moment Reviews here with a video. Unfortunately, I felt like this might actually happen uh, earlier down the road when I started doing this channel. And this may be, if not if it's already here, the death of reaction channels, content, mashups, regardless, for anime. Now, if it was reactions on other media bases, games, movie trailers, TV shows, that's most likely you'll be okay. But anime and Japan with their copyright system and YouTube do not get along. For example, a um, fellow creator, reactor, and guy in the community, in the anime and community, Memory NK, who has been featured multiple times on my podcast and we have talked we follow each other on, uh, on Twitter and we converse uh, pretty often he is facing a channel termination due to I believe at the time of making this video about seven copyright takedown strikes so his channel is basically gone he's fought through this before and I'm really hoping knocking on wood that he actually gets his channel back because it looks like they're about to terminate his channel because there's nothing they can do because of that stupid system of copyright uh, strikes and i understand youtube's algorithm it's just really unfortunate because japan's copyright claims do not match the united states copyright claims for example we can completely react in the united states to a video and technically it falls under fair use. In Japan though, that doesn't exist. So Japan's using their own laws to basically override our own and YouTube does not look at smaller channels because if you think about it, yes, the scope of this, who's gonna, what's more important? Them focusing on hundreds and millions actually, millions of videos that get uploaded every day or a channel who has a couple thousand subscribers. They're not really gonna care. And there's such a small company in comparison with how much traffic and content gets uploaded on their site that they don't actually have the, I would say manpower to actually go through every single case. And if they were to go through every single case and if they were to actually go through it and realize that most of the time these companies who put up these copyright notices and copyright strikes and copyright claims most of them it's an automated process and whenever you usually fight against it it'll be over overturned and all that jazz because they don't actually really even respond to a counterclaim or a counter account yeah a counterclaim and unfortunately with all this happening Memory NK is uh, is looking to lose his channel due to a bunch of copyright um, strikes, and un unfortunately now it looks like another creator, a uh, uh, content creator and reactor, Lar Games, just got hit with a bunch of stuff. Um, he, his reactions to Minami K, which I'm I'm not not gonna lie, I have no idea. I've never even heard of it. Uh, just got taken down. Um, and it looks like, from the looks of it, it's two copyright strikes, but I don't know if he got hit with other things. There is a chance where I might lose my channel too. And this is very concerning because there is a lot of shows. Lately, it's been Katakawa. Katakawa's been on a rampage lately. Um, but it might be... There's two possibilities where it's the actual company basically striking hard maybe they had a someone had a really bad day and they're just taking out their anger by finding these videos and requesting to be taken them to be taken down an issue in a strike and that is what it's looking like it could be it could also be that someone who just doesn't like the reactor or the fact that someone is reacting to an anime and they're not showing the full anime even though you're not supposed to be doing that on YouTube in the first place if you want to watch anime you go on a regular site that actually licenses the anime or go to you know a yar har pirate site which whether or not I condone is regardless but anyways it seems like there's been a lot of target attacks, especially on two, I would say, prominent figures in the reaction community, especially Memory NK. Memory NK and probably Sun uh, Wukong are probably the top two. And I know, I don't really follow 
the, um, Sun Wukong, but I know he has dealt with this in the past. Um, and then Memory NK, this is not his first tussle where his channel is risking termination. So this brings into the whole future of my own channel. I can continue, but at the unfortunate possibility where I might lose my entire channel because it seems like your channel, if it gets hit with three strikes, it will be it will be lost in seven days. However, it takes seven to ten business days for a company to get back and remove the strike if you counter it and they don't respond. Which is not always the case because I've had a full I've had one time where I've had a strike on my channel, they didn't allow me to um, counteract it, and it took them five months to lose the strike, and I countered it, even though it's supposed to take only three months, and I've had times where I've had a claim which I rescinded and be like, no, this is fair use, and it actually wasn't even a reaction. It was so it was a review on something, and that totally fell under fair use. There was nothing, and I filed it, and they didn't respond, and it was supposed to be gone after ten business days. It took them over a month and a half before that claim got released and my video got uploaded, which no one even saw because it didn't show up in anyone's feeds due to it being a month and a half late. So. I don't know what to do. I really love doing reactions, and I love a lot of people like my reactions, which I, I, I will say thank you guys so much. You guys mean a lot. I don't know if I should make a second channel just for reactions, maybe ramen reacts, and just work on original content on this channel, which is what, like I said, I've always wanted to do. In fact, I have a full-on list right here of, no, actually not this one. Um, which you're not, you're not gonna be able to see, but it's just like a bunch of notes. Well, yeah, just a bunch of notes. And these are video ideas that I have, and I've been working on scripts on, I have some documents of scripts, and I wanted to make it on this channel, however, if the possibility is if I continue doing reactions on this channel, and unfortunately, like, by the time I upload my, like, original content, and reviews, and all that stuff, this vet channel might get terminated because of, hey, by the way, I'm really good, oh, I just got six, seven, eight copyright strikes, and my channel's gone. I don't know what to do. I have not got any copyright strikes. I mean, I'm com in the complete green, but also other channels have had this happen to themselves, where they're in the complete green, and then they just got hit. Now, I don't know if I'm been working the copyright system and I haven't been hit yet and I'm just a lucky incident but I don't know I could show just subs only which memory NK has has done and they could get hit I could show literally nothing I feel like and have a timer and get hit because apparently I don't remember who it was but someone in the community apparently got hit with a copyright claim and I think a strike for showing a timer which he won, but still, it just shows how much of a bit abuse of uh, an abuse that the companies can have on YouTube. It's not really YouTube's fault. It's really the companies issuing these things and not respecting the fact that copyright claiming and fair use don't go hand in hand, especially when it's an overseas company like YouTube. YouTube is all over the place, but I'm I'm based in the United States. And our copyright clauses do not are, are extremely lenient compared to Japan's. Japan's is if you show a single thing, they will crack down on you. They are very, they have a hard on for copyright claims and keeping things to themselves. And I, I as much as I can understand it, I do, I disagree. But I don't know what to do with this. Let me know what you guys want to see, what I should do, because. This could be the future of my channel. I don't know what to do because I'm getting a little bit scared. If if Lar can get hit and he's a he is a smaller channel, and his his algorithm was so smart, he was actually playing the algorithm so well, and he was not getting hit with anything for the longest time. From what I unless he unless he has and he just never said anything about it. But if his can get flagged, pro most likely by manual claims, they can get mine. Even though most of the time I don't show anything. Well, the, I, I 
lately I've been covering up majority of the video, so you can only see the subs. I don't know. I really don't know. Let me know what you guys should think I should do. Uh, if I should just private all the videos, because if I private the videos, I think I'll be good. Um, yeah, I could probably private it. And then what I could do is just set up my second channel. Just for ramen reacts, I I don't know, because I still want I want to continue building up this channel as much as I can, and continue with ramen reviews and actually continue. Like I said, honestly, reactions were just a stepping stone, um, but lately I just haven't had time to actually make original content. And I but I really do, I really do, I really want to just sit down and make original content, and I want to make it on this channel. I don't want to make a full on channel and start back from the beginning because that's gonna take a long ass time. But yeah, let me know what you guys should do. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of passing the baton to you and giving you some homework uh, and seeing what you guys think I should do. But yeah, this could be the end of my channel later on. Could be, could not be. Who knows? Honestly, it's up to Japan and the copyright system. And in all honesty, I don't want to risk it. But at the same time, I don't want to screw the fans over who have came specifically for my reactions but I also don't want to alienate my own self because I also want to do other things if you know what I mean uh, let me know what, you, what I should do in the comment section below um yeah I really don't know how to end this so <laughs> uh yeah remember to don't like favorite comment and subscribe haven't done this spiel in a long time but yeah I love you guys, especially everyone who's followed through me, everyone who's liked my reactions, everyone who's liked my original content, which I, I really am, I, I, it is extremely sparse, but, or people who have just followed me, just who, who have liked my content, regardless of what it was. Thank you guys. If this, if my channel does get terminated, it is unfortunate, but I will start again. Just maybe not reactions. And well, if 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 my channel does ever get term terminated, I will re-upload my Yeromanga Sensei videos because that's never going away. But I will try my hardest to build it up again if that comes to that. But yeah, all right, guys. I will see you guys next time. See ya.